Hello, today we're gonna try out James Turner's tiny home challenge. So let's get. All right, so here I am on James Turner's website. Wow, wow, wow. So for this challenge, you're of course going to make a tiny home. That's kind of given, but you also get a little list of requirements that is needed to complete this challenge. So the requirements are how many tiles the house is going to be, the style it's going to be in, and who's gonna live in the house, and the budget of the build, and then a random item that you have to include. So it's a pretty fun little challenge that James has uh, come up with and put together on his website. I mean, that's a job and a half, you know. But yeah, we're gonna click the button three times and whatever we get on that third try, we have to do. No exceptions. Mm -mm. So let's start clicking. One, two, three. Ooh. Okay, so no more than 100 tiles. Wait, isn't 100 tiles the maximum tiles a tiny home can have? Is that even considered a tiny house <laughs> at this point? I mean, okay. On to the next one. Style your build like Brindlin Bay. I don't even know what that means. Does that mean like the house style? that is in Riddle Bay. I think that's what it means. Because what else would it be? <laughs> okay, anyways. Room for two adults and a child. I mean, that's reasonable. Your budget is 30,686 simoleons. I mean, that seems reasonable as well. And uh, you must include land potted floor. Well, that's not hard. I can squeeze that in somewhere. I mean, excuse me, this challenge wasn't very hard. I think I got a pretty easy challenge. Oh, wow. How can I make this difficult for myself? That's the question. Well, that's the challenge. So, um, let's start, shall we? Oh, we freaking shall. All right, so first order of business. No more than 100 tiles. I mean, that's pretty easy. That's not tiny at all, really. Or maybe I could have two floors. Do we have enough space for that? No, not really. Oh, that's gonna look weird. This is gonna be a weird, ugly house. How am I gonna fix this? Oh no. What is very Brindle Bay? I mean, we got a lighthouse. I am not doing a lighthouse, okay? I, I am not. Because that means rounded walls. And I've had enough of rounded walls, okay? I have. If you want to see me cry about curved walls, go see my movement video. But I am not doing that today. No, no, no. What else is Brindle Bay? Boats? Maybe I can make a boat. Maybe I can make a boat. How do I make a boat? Interesting. Okay, so if we go something like that, maybe just as a star. And then, oh, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this look like a freaking boat? Okay, so hear me out. Hear me out. What if we take a debug boat, debug boat, and then we just scoot it into, oh, oh I gotta get my tool mod for this. Ah, look at that. That is a boat. I mean, it's into the ground right now, but maybe we should put it into some water. How will that look? Well, that's gonna look ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, we're on a freaking hill, on a little island, and suddenly there's like a little <laughs> puddle. <laughs> I know that I could move to a bigger lot and make it look good, but remember, we have a budget, so maybe we shall not have the water, but what can we do instead? We can raise this up, you know what? That raised up pretty nicely. And then we just have to hide the foundation that we do. So what if I just put the foundation on some stilts? <laughs> like that. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. I mean, the foundation is sticking through a lot, but <laughs> we're gonna hide it up. We're gonna hide it up, I swear. Maybe we can have something at the top as well. We have some tiles left yeah oh that could be cute i mean please say that it will be cute and then we have to make it a little bit more brindle bay ish liberty -ish. and how shall we do that we could go for maybe something like so i don't know and then we need some windows and what can we do for that oh we need a circular window pop it right on there wow beautiful and then maybe some square windows as well i have no idea where to put this maybe i should do the inside first before i put in the windows because otherwise yeah no oh we should get some roof on as well what kind of roof do i want maybe a funky roof i mean isn't that one funky roof. It has a little curl. <laughs> Why do I kind of like that? I mean, it's a boat on land. What do you expect? The roof is going to be weird. All right, what am I going to do for the inside? I really do need to think about the inside. So we need room for two adults and a child. And I'm guessing that those two adults are a couple. That's just my guess. <laughs> so I need two bedrooms. And where am I going to put those bedrooms? Very much interesting. What if I do something like that? That's a very good start. And then we need some sort of bathroom. Maybe it can be here, probably. And then we can just have an open kitchen, dining, and living room situation, maybe. Oh, we have this room as well. I don't know what this room is going to be, but it's going to be a nice room. So, where do I need to have the ladder? Oh, yikes. Maybe somewhere along... Oh, I need to think about that. <laughs> I do. Okay, let's look at the furniture from the cats and dogs pack. That seems reasonable for me. Oh, I like this couch. Where can we put this? Oh, it has one of those, um, octagonal thing of things. Can I make an octagonal room somewhere? I mean, we have some tiles left. Where am I going to put that? I mean, I guess we could put the room inside the ship. Because I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think. Okay. I had... <laughs> Do not mock my room, okay? I had to make it like this. Because if I make it one tile here and not two, it's not going to be in the middle. So 
so the octagonal room is looking ridiculous but it has space for the couch that all that matters do not ask questions all right so we have a couch that we do indeed have <laughs> thankfully and then we need some sort of dining table i mean i think the table can be around here somewhere that's a good space for it i do believe but then i think we can push the bathroom a little bit back and then we have a little bit more space in the parents bedroom for the ladder a sweet sweet ladder and then we need a double bed and can i squeeze a double bed in here yes i can and then this can be the kids bedroom do we have a good color in that bed or oh <gasps> that is adorable i've never seen that swatch before i love that i'm impressed all right what about the kitchen maybe the kitchen can be somewhere around here what why is that not lining up i've done something okay so when it's against the wall it gets a different shape and when it's not well that's fantastic maybe i can put up a wall boom put up a wall so i think the vibe of this house is gonna be kind of shabby but also very hostile very demure very approachable oh my gosh what happened here oh no i've just scooched this all the way back all right i'm gonna fix that boat in the end because i think whenever i move around the rooms and stuff like that the boat is gonna come with so to save my sanity i'm gonna do that in the end <laughs> how much money do we have left okay so we have spent fifteen thousand, so we have half the money left oh gee gee louis well let's put in the toilet as well i mean i can go for this one and then we need a sink what sink shall we give her maybe just this one from horse ranch i know that i use this a lot but hear me out it's cheap and it looks decent enough you know it does and then we need some sort of shower so maybe we can go for this one the new one from love struck i like that one good 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 and then we need a little coffee table what can we get for them Ooh, i want this one i love that coffee table and then maybe we need a little tv stand with a tv on it so maybe maybe like this one and i think i'm gonna go with this tv because it's super cheap and i like the look of it and then i'm just gonna size it up a little bit Boop, i size it up and then up here what's gonna be up here maybe it can be some sort of office because one of the parents are a writer maybe i mean that could be fun you know it could be all right now we have all the central furniture that we need to live we do we also need some wallpaper oh my gosh how could i forget the wallpaper oh this one's nice but that's seven simoleons oh no okay what about this one that's four maybe i can go with this blue one for now and then we also need some flooring <gasps> maybe the one from juggle adventure i do kind of like that flooring to be quite honest okay now back to the outside just so you know i'm gonna be jumping all over the place in this video because i have a budget to look after so i need to take everything bit by bit so i don't use all my money in one place you know so that's how it's gonna be but with this boat here yeah? i need to spice it up a little bit i think we need some sort of edge here so maybe we can use some sort of half walls to secure it all in you know like so and then we have to make it a little rustic and i was uh, thinking about this one from love struck that could be kind of cool yeah i like that oh and then we need uh, <laughs> to get into this place that we do need so i have to put up a little platform here just a teeny tiny one and then put up some cool stairs maybe the one from werewolves oh yeah that could be a vibe beautiful now we need to put in some windows for real this time so maybe we can have a window here will that look nice i don't know but maybe then we need some windows in the back as well maybe we can have them here then we can have a funky window there that could be something you know it really could be and then we also need some windows in this room maybe we can put up these ones for the ambiance i don't think i'm gonna have a window there because i want a painting there a real nice painting and i do know what kind of painting i want there i want the dog painting oh that's expensive 950 simoleons oh my gosh well we're gonna have it because look at that that is a vibe how much are the other paintings <gasps> 3500 oh, this one are you kidding me 1000 oh no that's not good the whole vibe is gonna be thrown off oh no now i'm kind of scared i am okay how much money have you used 23,000. oh my gosh that's a uh, worrisome all right i have tried to fix up the boat a little bit and as you can see some things are still sticking out because it just has to be i, I can't hide everything you know so we're just gonna hide that up we're gonna hide it up we are and uh, i also put in some doors because i am a protective like that a protective queen you might say well uh, let's start decorating the primary bedroom okay <laughs> let's do that how much is this bed 2250 are you insane no that's a lot of money hold on no 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 we're not doing that can i get a cheap bed that's also nice oh this one this bed is quite nice and it's also just 300 simoleons you know so why shall i not use that and then we need some bedside tables that are also kind of skinny maybe <gasps> should i use a crate because one is cheap 55 simoleons and two it fits in there okay you know what i think i'm gonna have some crates i think i do problem solved and we also need a skinny 
mini dresser maybe just this one again from horse ranch then we also need a little carpet maybe you can go with this one from werewolves that's only 60 simoleons that could work yeah and then i'm also just gonna throw in some decoration so i know that we have money for it you know you know i guess we need some bedside lamps so maybe horse ranch again it has the vibe that i want and they're cheap nice for me and then we can afford a little plant a little book maybe yeah, okay that's 45 simoleons great nice and i do think i'm gonna place all the items neat and nicely in the end because it's not gonna be like this but <laughs> because it's gonna be so annoying for me if i have to place them nicely now and then i realize oh i don't have money for that and then i have to do it all over again you know so i'm, I'm gonna place them nicely in the end that i'm gonna do oh we need some curtains oh no this is a hard window as well what about this no that's ridiculous oh shoot me good what about this one? Oh, that could work they're really expensive 200 and then i need two of them oh no all right so it's a little while later i have been looking through all the curtains and i've come to the conclusion that i'm gonna do the curtains in the end because i don't want to deal with that right now <laughs> i I'm, I'm i don't even want to speak about it let's move on to this room um how much money does this bed actually cost Three thousand three hundred? no three thousand for this single bed no that is not correct three thousand what no i thought that was gonna be like 500 or something i am flabbergasted we're not gonna have this bed so what can we do instead maybe we can have a bug bed situation and then we can make it all funky like that and then under that bed we can have a little desk doesn't that sound nice with a little chair and then we can have a little dresser situation we can have this one yes i like that dresser and then we also need some kid toys because this is a kid so we can have a little dog maybe and then we can have this tall house 125 that seems reasonable and then we can have this uh, carpet maybe maybe that could be a vibe and we can have some sort of toy this one is 50 simoleons okay and then what about another toy this one is a uh, 65 and also a little calendar for 50 simoleons beautiful i placed all the things so badly i'm also gonna put up a mirror maybe and some more posters and stuff but i really need to see how much money i have left because i'm worried i need decorations for every spot in this house then i do okay well let's start working on the kitchen shall we i think that's a good idea and i think i'm gonna start with recoloring the counters so why not oh i like that color i do oh we also need a stove hood the hood but that's gonna block up the window that's not good maybe we can have the stove here is that gonna be weird I, I don't really know can i have the kitchen somewhere else i could have the kitchen here but that means that i have to have the table here and that's just gonna be so weird because of the doors and stuff and i don't like that so kitchen here and we're gonna live with it right <laughs> i was also thinking of having a different wallpaper for the kitchen just to separate it oh why do i like this i mean the green is kind of clashing with the blue wallpaper but it suits the counters pretty well though let's uh put in the sink maybe the sink will change everything no it did not it looks the same <laughs> maybe we can also have a little coffee machine just a little ugly one like that one i think that could be fun for them and i know that we have a budget but i am gonna splurge on a used ugly counter so i can do my little counter trick <laughs> just place that right there and then i'm gonna take my tool mod and i'm gonna size that counter down to a really small number well gone what else can we have oh maybe like a little uh, dishwashing rack how much is that 20 oh we could have so many of them we can have them all if we want to i mean we really could have it all <laughs> oh we also need a trash bin where can i place a trash bin i mean maybe here yeah i can squeeze one in there how much is that 60 okay i'll allow that and now we do really need to decorate the bathroom now we do this this is looking rough so first of all we need to get some tiles and i am gonna put in these tiles i know i used them in my last build but they do fit this place they do and what type of wallpaper do i want i mean i could maybe go with this one from love strike i don't know if it's giving off the brillen bay vibes but i like it and it's cheap two simoleons i mean what more do you want out of life what more and then to make this shower a little bit fancy i'm gonna put up a little shower window for them Whoop, delete the wall and then put in some nice shower glass there you go beautiful and then we also do need a little mirror and we can go with this one and cats and dogs that's reasonable enough yeah and i can put in a little soap and a toothbrush holder i know there's only one toothbrush in there and this is a family of three but if i go with this one that has a lot of toothbrushes it's gonna cost me five simoleons more and i don't want to do that <laughs> i really don't want to spend all that money on nothing and of course we need some toilet paper maybe we can get a candle too yes we can we can get this candle boom and in the shower i can put up this one because it's cheap 70 that's not bad that's not bad what else can we have in that little shower i can indeed put up this little rustic stool squeeze it into the corner and then maybe i can have some fun stuff on there maybe a plant would that be nice eh, how much is that plant 60 i'll think about it i'll think about it okay let's put up some more decorations in the entryway as well we could have a little hallway table noise then a little front door carpet how much is this one 55 okay that's 
yeah, I can deal with that. <gasps> and maybe I can splurge on an umbrella stand. I mean, it costs 150 simoleons, but I do love me umbrella stand, that I do. And I do also want this little magazine holder, but it is 100 simoleons, and I don't really know where to put it. Like, I really wanted to put it in the bathroom, but uh, I don't know where to put it. Maybe I'm gonna put it under here for now. I want it in my build. I really do. All right, so now we also do need some decorations for that little table. So maybe a basket and this little clutter thingy thing. That could be nice. I can maybe put up some books and this little plant thing. And I can put up a picture frame. <gasps> okay, I know that this one is expensive. It's 200 simoleons. But it's so cute. Look at it. I do actually think that it's the same lighthouse that's over here. I do believe. Oh, our ugly little house. But anyways, this one's kind of ugly. And it's also 200 simoleons. But I think we need this one. I mean, it just completes the vibe of the house, you know? It's nautical and it's kind of shabby. Fits in well. Okay, so now for the dining room. We need a little light. A statement piece light. I do believe that this one gives up that statement piece vibes. And it disappeared. Right. And then in the corner, I was kind of thinking of having this uh, thing uh, here. That is nice. I like that. And then we also need a carpet under the table. That would have been nice to just frame it all in. And what carpet could that be? That's also cheap, by the way. Cheap is a key word in this build. Oh, yikes. What can I do? All right, welcome back. It's a while later. I have again looked through all the carpets. And uh, what my conclusion is, is that I need to go with the round carpet. Because that's the only dimensions that work with our situation right here. I have looked through them all. And no, it doesn't work when you size them down because look how weird that is, you know? So this carpet it is. I'm also just throwing in some random decorations here just so I know that we have something, you know? Maybe I can throw... Oh! Maybe I can throw in this one too for fancies. What about the board games? 100? Oh, I don't know if I can afford that. Wait, hold on. How much money have I spent? 25. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I still have the whole outside to do. Well, okay then. <laughs> Let's uh, start working on the curtains. My worst nightmare. What can I do? What can I do? I need a kind of cheap one. Ooh, 125. Can I do that? Will that look good? I mean, for one, it fits the window. That's the most important part. And two, it matches the color theme. But is that the vibe? I mean, it has to be the vibe. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, what about these windows? I mean, I could put up um, these type of curtains. 125 for one curtain. How much are the rods? 50 for the rods. That's going to be so expensive. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I need to save me Monty. Oh no. Right, welcome back. I have uh, tried a lot of the curtains and uh, we have to go with these curtains. I know that they're ugly. I know. But it's really the only option we have. They're cheap, only 70, and they fit the window. Oh, but they're ugly though. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Oh, we also have the office. Right, we have the office. Did I change the wallpaper up in here? I think I did. To the expensive one. When did I do that? What can we put in there? We can maybe put in this bookshelf. Mm hmm. And we can have a little lamp. And we can also have a chair. And maybe a little poof moment. A little poof. And also maybe a carpet. Carpet never hurt anybody. And for decorations, we can have a little lamp. And maybe some little books. And just some other little clutter thingy thingies. And we can also have this stack of books. That's always cool and nice and fresh and fun. Okay, so we have at least some clutter in the office now. Not placed nicely, but we have some clutter. And you know what? I'm gonna come back to this. I am worried about the outside. How much money have we spent? 28,000. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and what was our budget again? Our budget was 30,686 simoleons. And I have a whole outside to do. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? So, um, let's crack on with the planting first, okay? <laughs> oh, yikes. And I do want this place to be a very shabby, a little bit overgrown. I think that's the vibe I'm going for. So how can I make that happen? Maybe if I put up some shabby little bushes, some shabby little trees, maybe something will happen for us. And that's what she did. <laughs> I think all the plants that I put up are free. No, they're not. <gasps> this plant is 135. Oh, no, I did not think about that. But I do need to have a little plant there to hide up the plank thingies in the back. What are they called again? The foundation. Foundation stakes. Something. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I also put up some rats, some more plant stuff, and on the back here as well. I mean, I'm not done yet, as you can see, but this is a start at least. This is a start. And I also have a plant just floating around there. Was I trying to do something with that? I really don't know. Was I? Or did I just place it there? Who knows? Now, I know that this foundation is sticking out. I had to find something to hide that with. Or it could just be there. Because it kind of just looks like the paint has been falling off, you know? A little rust moment, maybe. Maybe, maybe I uh, can try this. I mean, it hides it up a little bit. That it does. I mean, I can't really put up a ton of those because it costs money. <gasps> I'm also just gonna put up these plant boxes for the ambiance. How much is that? 75. Okay, maybe I can deal with that. Now I need to find something to hide that up with. And what can that be? Um, okay, I went into debug and then I found this little guy. And I thought maybe we can put him there. I mean, he hides it up pretty well, I must say. He does. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have him there. Maybe I also can have this little thing. I don't know what it is, but it's something and I want it. Oh, okay. I'm also just gonna have this little boat here. 
for no real reason. I just, I just really want it, you know? It may fit the ambiance. It may do. Oh, we could also have a little bonfire. Hello. That could be so cool. How much is that? 150. Yeah. And what else could I do to spice this place up? <gasps> okay, wait, 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 wait. I want lights. And not any type of lights. I want string lights. Da da do. And where can I find them? Where can I find those frickety, frickety string lights? Show it to me. Please show it to me, Rachel. Show it. Where is it? Show it to me, Rachel. I can't need to find it. Oh, I found the string lights and I am going to put the string lights up on my little house. Oh, I totally forgot about the patio. How much money do we have left? 29,000. Oh no, we have used 29,969 simoleons and our budget was 30,686 simoleons. And we also need to place that little plant potted floor thingy. Oh, budgie. Okay. I'm going to size it down just a teeny tiny bit and we can, I don't know, place it there. I have no idea where to place it. It doesn't really fit in with the vibe. I, I gotta be honest. <laughs> the vibe that I created today in this room. Okay, what can we have up here? That's not expensive. Maybe we can have some sun loungers. Oh, these are 50. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a vibe. Where's the ones that are really ugly? Oh, these ones. <laughs> that's the vibe we're going for. Oh my gosh, that would have been kind of cool. How much are they? 445. Wait, for these ugly things? No, 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 no. That is not happening. Okay, we're gonna have these ones, I guess. Right, mates. And maybe we can have a little table there as well. And uh, what about this one? That's 50 simoleons. Hey, pal, I could probably work. Uh -huh. Okay, this isn't looking half bad. It's very bare and empty, but it isn't half bad. How much money do we have left now? We have spent 30,169. I see how it is. Well, okay, we at least have money for a little board game that I wanted in here. That we do. Okay, so we can have that board game. And then, why did I put these plants up? I don't know why. <laughs> but I did. Right, we have board games. And maybe we can put in a little plant. Plants are always fun. It has to be cheap though. Oh, that's kind of cheap. And then we can have a little remote. Is that free? And then I can put in some coffee bags as well. Oh, it would have been so cool to put up a corner shelf right here. And then I can have like all the coffee stuff on that shelf. But do I have money for that? <laughs> How much is the shelf? 45. I mean, should I use money on that? That is a great question. But look how cute that would be if I did that. Okay, you know what? I'll think about that. I'll think about that. I'll come back to that. Look at the bedrooms. They're empty. They're so empty. I want a mirror up there. But can I afford that? Do we have mirrors? <laughs> Let's use this. Ah! Okay, maybe I'm not gonna have a mirror there, but maybe I'm gonna have a standalone mirror somewhere. How much is this? 80. See, horse ranch comes in clutch again. That is super cheap. Oh no. Do we have money for a little computer maybe? 900. No, we do not. Can we get a little lamp for them though? Oh, we can get this. 40. That's cute. And maybe we can squeeze in a little plant. What about this one? In tiny one? Oh my gosh, I forgot the curtains in here. Oh no. I need another curtain. We have like 100 simoleons left. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we also have a window there, but I'm not gonna put up curtains because the bed is hiding it. So it doesn't exist for me right now. Oh, yikes. How much is this poof? This poof is 300 simoleons. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna get them another poof. This poof, 150. And I think I also have to change the walls up in here so we can save 48 simoleons. We just gotta save everything we can, you know? Oh my gosh, this one's 140. Oh my gosh. What about this lamp? 140 for that lamp? No, we're not doing that. No, no, no. I can get this lamp. That's 45. That's something at least. Then I can put in the plant. And I can have these books. I can have this box. How about that? And then I can have a picture of a pair. Boop. I would actually love to have the picture of the football team. But that picture costs 350 simoleons. So pair it is. Boom. Then I can have a plant in the corner. I know I've used this one before in this build. But it's cheap and I need it. <gasps> oh my gosh. All the freaking pictures are so expensive. Like this one's 200. Oh no. I need something here at least. Maybe I can have this one. Pop it right there. <laughs> Louis. Sure, we can have that one. Okay, wait, hold on. This is a very expensive dresser. 765. I think we can find something cheaper. Huh? Okay, maybe I can go for this one. But it doesn't match the colors. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one as a dresser. I'm not really happy with that, but that, that's uh, that's where we're at in life. Okay. Oh, I can put up this little fish poster right there. And then that was it. <laughs> All right, this picture is 125. I can probably have that in here. There you go, peeps. Hope you enjoy that. Because you're not getting another picture. You're really not. And then this plant. I kind of want this plant to be in that little cabby and not on top. Can I do that? Not really. Well, glad we figured that out. Oh, I have just a few simoleons left. What can I do? Maybe in that little cabby hole, I can have something spectacular. That is also very, very cheap. I mean, I can have one of these boxes. I know it's actually baby stuff, but we need it. There you go. Okay, it's now I do realize how much money I spend in each build. You know, it's now I realize that. Okay, I think I'm going to put in some more plants and stuff just around this place and see 
see if everything everything will turn all right you know maybe it will all right i know that i don't have my camera on right now but i'm in the middle of the yard work do not look at it but i do now realize that this debug boat should have been another color i mean it should have been red why did i choose that color but you know what we're just gonna have to live with that we really are oh my gosh i was planning on using these rocks from base game but they cost money and 70 70 is what wait small boulder that also costs money that too does everything cost money oh no oh that's not good what about the rocks that i've used oh that costs money too oh no i gotta stop buying these rocks i really have to well okay i can buy a few rocks though like so oh these are free wait they're kind of ugly though that they are maybe that's the reason why they're free i see how it is well i can put up some pathway stones then i mean i stop the vibe you know i could do that no i do not like that actually no 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 i'm just gonna have nothing nothing at all i lied i am gonna have something on here and <laughs> it's these stones from horse ranch look at that well i think that could be an idea it could also be a bad idea but it's an idea at least you know <laughs> and now i am literally just putting up fish everywhere because i just found out that fish is free that's where i'm at in life i'm trying to find curtains for this gosh darn window but everything looks ridiculous it does this no what about this we don't have enough money for that <laughs> well whatever i tried okay can i find something very cheap to put here or here i need some marriage certificate that we can have we can have two of them <laughs> because of reasons unknown to the public you have two of them well this is looking bad <laughs> oh no okay so this is where i'm at in life this is what i've done to the garden oh yeah wow it's so messy i even put up some little chairs there and then i had to put up a lot of crates here just to hide that big old gap that was the only thing that worked so hope you're happy with that and i also did some little changes on the inside too i do believe can't remember what it was oh no i need to have something there as well what if i just have some drawings or i can have this no i can have some drawings a free release me from this misery please oh that's right this shelf okay how many caps can i afford that is the big question that is all i can afford mm, no should not ask me why i put that little rubber ducky on that box it just happened okay all right i do now think that i am done with the house and therefore done with this challenge so let's go over the freakity frackity list again okay <laughs> there's me list and let's see no more than 100 tiles that we did Boop. style your build like brinland bay i mean we did i mean if you don't think that a fishing boat is brinland bay then i don't know what is so we did that and room for two adults and a child we did that a budget of 30,686 simoleons let's see i have used 30,685 simoleons so that was right on the money i have one simoleon left <laughs> so i can of course cross that off my list Boop. and you must include plant potted floor and yes that i indeed did Boom. and this challenge is now complete and you know what that means it's time for a house tour bum, bum, bum. welcome to the house tour hope you're having fun here's the front garden we got a little pathway moist here's my bonfire with me ray and here's here's me lovely lovely boat oh wow and uh <laughs> there's more of the garden it's so messy and i do kind of like it i really do and here is the back side of the house you know got me a little boat got some little sitting chairs and clothing line and me boxes you know you know looking very um yeah <laughs> And here's also another side of the house, if you were curious, you know. Well, let's step inside, shall we? Oh, we shall. I'm stepping inside me little house. Whoa, here's the house. As you can see, the roof still weird. And apparently it's not my fault because there's a glitch in the Sims. So, not my fault. Not my problem. We're gonna ignore it. Well, here is the entryway. Got a little entryway table. Wowie. And some more stuff. I probably shouldn't have bought that umbrella stand. That was way too expensive. But um, here we are, people. Here we are. And then, right here, we have the dining room. I do really like the dining room, to be honest. You know, it's neat. It's nice. It's wonderful. And <laughs> here is the living room. Got my little coffee table. <laughs> my, my TV. My very expensive painting that I shouldn't have bought. But you know, you know. And the ugly curtains. We're not talking about the curtains. We are not. Well, you know. Here is the kitchen. Oh, got my little shelf. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. I like it. I like it for what it is. We got to remember, people. You have to like it for what it is. A budget tiny house challenge. You know. Oh, and here's the other side of the kitchen if you were interested any oozles here is the bathroom pretty simple pretty standard it's kind of cozy though i do kind of like it i got my little ducky you know that i do oh i don't know what the sound was <laughs> let's go into the kids bedroom wow and oh the ceiling is so beautiful today i must say well here's the kids bedroom one side of it at least i do actually like that fishing poster i want that in real life and that's another side of the room oh fish eye i mean it looks kind of empty in here not gonna lie that it does but moving on hey 
best master bedroom. Oh, it's so sad in here. We got a fish on the wall. We got crates as nightstands. <laughs> this is a sad, sad room. At least they got a painting though that they have. I was actually supposed to put something in front of the bed, but then I ran out of money. So well, that didn't happen. Okay, well, let's go into the office. So we have to take the stairs. New. Not the stairs, the ladder. Well, here's the office. Oh, wow. I have no words. It's so empty in here. I keep forgetting that I had a budget on this, you know? And that's the reason why I couldn't decorate <laughs> more. It's because of the budget. And I know that I could put in debug stuff and all that shebang. But there wasn't really that much to pick from that uh, made sense. Yeah, no, that's the office. Let's uh, step out the side uh, onto the little balcony thingy thing. Wow. Did I pick yellow? Apparently I did. I got a little debug umbrella. I know, you know. Got my little plant boxes. Got my string lights. Got everything I need. Was that everything? Yeah, I think so. Well, the house tour is now done. All right, that was it for this time. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> and if you for some reason want to download this house, it is up on my gallery. And my gallery ID is just not right gaming. It, it is. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.